that attracts your tribe. So yeah, yeah that's right. Yes, sir. I must ask you now. Tell me about your history of dealing with bully and your personal bully. Uh, my personal bully. <laughs> my personal bully. For <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I Once I got into the martial arts, I was a blue belt. I was. I started competing in tournaments. I was losing. There was still something just not really right with me connected where I, the confidence wasn't there. And then one day after gym class in the locker room, standing get, or getting into my locker, getting ready to leave, my bully um, comes up to me and he, he comes right to me, shoves me into the locker, says, Trouble, he said, you're a pussy. He goes, you know what? He goes, you think you know karate? You don't know shit. He goes, come on, man, let's see what you got. And I'm like, looking around and everybody's standing there and I'm thinking, no, God, no. And I've never used the martial arts. You know, I was just, I didn't know what to do, man. I'm, I'm you know, thinking, no, not now. And then I, I tried to walk around him. He pushes me again. He goes, come on, man. He goes, you, come on, come on. Let's see what you got. Then he leans in and he goes, let's see what you got, Pete's face. Pushes me again. And after that, I just let go. I let go. And what I remember after that is, Everybody had us broken apart. And after that, I was never bullied again. I walked down the halls, walked through the, to the halls of uh, the school I went to, Newport High School, Newport, Kentucky. Everybody looked at me different. I stood up to my biggest fear. My biggest fear was this bully. He humiliated me all the time. Even in the sports that we played, he happened to be on the team. It was like I joined this team because he was the jock. He was on that team. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I quit that sport. I quit that and I go to the next sport. Oh, he was on that team. And I'm like, so he was in every sport. And then next thing you know, man, I, I faced my biggest fear. And that's when everything changes. You face your, your fears and they disappear. But you got to do it. And I did it and everything changed. And to this date, I was never bullied again. Was that in high school or elementary school? Uh, that was in high school. So uh, just curious. Yep. Uh, what has your bully moved on to since? Has uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? It's funny because um, uh, when I, we were in Kentucky about a, two years ago, we were at a restaurant and uh, he was there. And a buddy of mine uh, comes up and he says, my, my brother-in-law actually goes, hey, man, guess who's here? And I'm like, uh, who? He goes, me. And I went, really? <laughs> And I hadn't seen the guy in like years, years. And he goes, uh, yeah, man, he's like right over there. And I went, Oh, so I go over and I'm like, hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> and we sit down, we had a, or I sit down with him, we had a conversation and ah, it, it was weird. It was, I got emotional. I said, you know what, man, for whatever it's worth, I said, uh, you know, he goes, man, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm just sorry. And I said, I, I forgive you, brother. And I, I gave him a hug and I forgave him and then let it go. And, and it felt really good, you know. It felt really good. I mean, I've had a lot of bullies and shit. And there's, you know, uh, that felt really good to just, you know, say, hey, man, I forgive you. You know, I use our story when I talk to kids. So, hey, for what it's worth, man, you kind of helped me, I guess. I don't know. You know, so, I, looked at uh, the good, I looked at the good side of it. Yeah. You know, and look, the thing too, Jerry, is with that, is that you not only faced your fear, whether it was years and years later, that guy there realizes what he did and he he apologized. Yeah. So somewhere in his life, hopefully, he's going to be able to mentor or, or or support someone who's being bullied because he can say, "Look, I was the bully," or he might be even able to, you know help kids who are bullying or he might see somebody knows who's picking on some go hey dude this is this is not the right way to go so that that meeting you had in the in the restaurant was probably more powerful than the fact when you you had to deal with him in the locker room that I, I, sort of, yeah, yeah i think so yeah that sort of reminds me of a story i have from high school when i was in high school i had an instructor named mr blue Woo, you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he was Jamaican. And the thing is, he was a nice guy for the most part, but he was very annoying. Like, he was my geometry instructor. And, like, if he asked you a question and if you gave an answer that was incorrect, this is how he said it. He was like, no. 
and he did it for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a funny memory that I actually wrote about in this book, and you're going to have to read it to understand. But after high school was over, he was kind of glad to be rid of me because I was sort of annoying as well. But Earlier this year, when I had my personal financial course at University of the People, I realized that he was one of my three instructors for the course. And the moment I realized it, I messaged him and said, well, well, Mr. Woo, well, well, we meet again. And he messaged me and said, indeed, with a sarcastic <laughs> smile. 